everybody and welcome back. I am the Sovereign and this is my court. If this is your first time in attendance, hello. Please consider hitting the subscribe button before you leave our kingdom. I have just concluded watching the full run through of the runway performances of the contestants vying for the Miss Universe Philippines crown. And I did it with my mother. So we're gonna do this in a little bit of a different type of fashion. You guys are going to get to observe our live reaction, seeing for the first time of some of these contestants. And then you're going to see me pop back in to, I am seriously like filming. And then you will see me pop back in to discuss the top five candidates that did really, really well in their runway presentation because that's where the fight is. Some of these girls did really well. There was a lot of women really in that middle to average group bunched in there together. But there are five competitors that were really just leagues ahead of the rest. I thought it would be fun to let mom watch the walks of the women vying for Miss Universe Philippines, who is your uh, biased favorite country. Mom holds everybody up to the standards and bar of the Philippines. I've only watched it a few times and it seems like they're always, you know, ahead of the game. So, I mean, it's always interesting to see, you know, what place they're gonna be. So. Well, because the Philippines maintains a certain level, certain quality of contestant. And mom has noticed that. So anytime, there's been a couple times where she felt like a contestant didn't match what her standards were of the Philippines and mom wasn't happy. She expects a lot, even more so than I think I do of the Philippines. Well, I mean, just after seeing winners, you just always expect them to always give you a run for your money. And I expect you guys to always give people a run for their money. She expects y'all to always be top three, basically. Like if y'all aren't getting top three, she's mad at you. So, well, I mean, <laughs> you always want to see the person that's really good at the sport. Like, what are they going to do to try to win this year? You yeah. Know? Well, and yeah, because they I'm always. I'm intrigued by that. They push Otherwise, the bar. Otherwise, I'm like, why do I watch it? True. <laughs> they push the bar. They keep the quality high. Right, and they right. always come up with something new. That's why we're here to watch you. And, you know, to all, there's some people who get upset that I talk about the Philippines at all. And, I mean, you're competing on an international stage. So if you didn't want the attention of the international community, I don't understand why you're here but um i think that there's a certain level of applause to be had for the philippines for um being acknowledged by people from different countries that you are one of the greats and we're see we're here to see if you guys can uh keep that level of quality you've enticed us even mom's here and she's not even a pageant fan like that so let's see what these girls bring in the runway get into it She's, that's a heavy walk. That's not a graceful walk. She's coming. That's a very heavy walk, Aklan. I like that she's got some confidence in her, and that turn wasn't bad at all. She's changing her face. Seems like she's having fun. I think we just need to gracify the walk a bit. I'm sorry. I thought the walk was pretty average. I love that they're giving us an extended look at their walks. It's not like quick clips. They're like giving us a full, full look at all the girls. It's probably the best looking I've ever seen this woman. That corset got that those boobs right up to your chin, girl. Looks nice. It does look nice. looks good so far. I love that jet black hair up against her fair skin. Oh my God. It's such a striking contrast. She looks like Snow White. Her walk looks good. All right, girly girl. I think you got the cosign. I think we like this. I think we like the knees are straight. I like this. You, you're good. Mm -hmm. You're good. You got it. It's gonna be hard taking down Makati, but you you are in the fight. I'm she not got the turns and everything. Yeah, she's in the they're fight. They're not they're not perfect, but they're good. Yeah, you good. Mm-hmm. Oh, that one was a great one. She's yep. Right as I said, her turns weren't good. She did it. She said, What'd you say? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. The girl, you better straighten the knees. Straighten the knees. Oh, I hate that. Those shots really hurt to look at. So my mother's a little bit sleepy and she has checked out, but I'm still here and I wanna talk about the top five competitors because I really feel like the competition is right here between these women. These women were just leagues ahead of the rest. So my number five favorite, one, two, three, four, five, Cebu City. You know, the cityscape, it's very striking. She did this in public. She, you little daring, you a little feisty. Okay. I like her. We need to control those arms a little bit more. 
because they're just off timing. I don't know. They threw a lot of background but in those, there to they did to, to cover to seemingly cover up some things. Exactly. Yeah. But from what I'm seeing, her knees are straight. Those legs are extended. She probably needs better timing with her arms. But mo she's gonna she's gonna do well on stage. We need those facial fluctuations need to be smoother. The transition should be smoother. But that's a competitor that's gonna do well on stage. Cebu City gave us a nice cityscape and it's really nice that she just was brave enough to go and do this out in public. Props to you for being able to do that. Those legs were straight. The face was fierce and everything was wonderfully well-timed. Cebu City really showcased a very good walk. Her legs are long and she was extending those legs throughout her walk. I had no issues and kind of really liked observing her walking pattern. Her walk was smooth, it was well-timed, and she was giving face. This is a woman that is not going to struggle whatsoever when she steps on stage. Her walk didn't present as easy going or as natural and carefree as some of the other women further up the list, which is why she's at my number five spot. I like it. She's she's working it. Now that's runway walk. That is a runway walk. Mm -hmm. Good girl. Good, good girl. Good, 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 good girl. Ooh, motorcycles. Don't step on my girl. Those, those shoulders and arms seem a little bit stiff. I knew something stiff. was different. Something she is, was walking like queen of the dam. Yeah, you know, like. the shoulders <laughs> and the arms seem a little bit stiff up here. It, the, you see that top? But overall, she really is giving a runway walk. You know, loosen up the shoulders and everything up here, but she, is, she was working, so okay, work. I couldn't figure out what was off. That's what I do. I sit here in meticulous detail and figure out what the problem is. All right, we need to work on transitions. Smooth it out. Her looks are inconsistent. San Juan, I just did, mom, let me show you what this girl looked like in her swimwear photo. Cause she doesn't look like that right now. You guys are being inconsistent with your looks and your presentation and that turn, what the hell was that? Um, let me show you what San Juan, this is her. Oh wow. Tell me that's the same girl. That is not the same woman. Oh, so they made her look bum in her swimsuit. And then we basically got just... In her swimwear photo, she looks like a top of the line, A-line girl. I would not think that this was the same girl nope, that I'm looking at, at right all. now. Not at she all. She looked amazing in her right. swimwear photo. At number four is Makati. The woman just never lets me down. And once again, here is Makati just gliding through competition phenomenally. Is this Makati? Ooh, Makati. Okay, this is your time. Gorgeous. It's I your love time. Her face. It's your time. She's she's one of the she's one of the favorites. She's one of the hot picks. She's giving me top model energy. Uh, yep, Makati. She can walk, girl. We, I don't even know why I even held my breath. Right, Makati walks like Secret's gonna hire you. Yeah, she walks like a. She just walks. They she just said, go on, baby. Go 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 on with your bad self. Doesn't she look like an already hired? Something? Right. She looks like she. What, tell me why she looks like a Bond girl right now. She said, "I'm on a mission to slay." She looked like a Victoria's Secret model. To she me. can walk. I, you I get feel it, like Makati. I'm commercial. You get it, Makati. There, see, that's the energy I needed. I was waiting because I'm over here. Mom's waiting. I'm waiting. I'm like, there's got to be somebody in here that kills it. Mm -hmm. Makati, okay. Yep. Makati, yep. Davo Dosor, uh, yep. Behol, oh, y'all the gosh. ones working it. But yep. Makati over here, I knew it. We knew it. I mean, mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. haven't let me, she hasn't let me she down She looked yet. at us in the end like, yes. I know y'all over there talking about right? it. Right? You haven't let me <laughs> down yet, Makati. You've been great the whole time. Thank you. Makati looked like a Bond girl and it didn't really seem like it was hard for her to do. Seemed like it's something she did every day. Seemed like she didn't even really have to try. Could you imagine if she actually put in the effort? This was a very effortless walk, effortless performance. This is a woman that is just really not going to struggle when it comes to competition. She is very confident. There is nothing that is going to shake her confidence. And it's really nice. Like as an audience, we really enjoy seeing a woman that is sure about herself because then we feel sure about herself. We feel comfortable with her performance because she's comfortable with it. Makati seems completely at ease with the performance and presentations that she's been giving throughout. Every time we've seen her in any situation of Miss Universe Philippines, she has been perfectly comfortable. And I'm sure she would be perfectly comfortable sitting on the throne of the Philippines. Oh, Baguio City. Baguio City, what you got for me, girl? Mm -hmm. What you got? Cause she hasn't, she hasn't failed yet. I haven't seen her off yet. 
So she can't do this to me now. Damn, I like the dress. I would wear that. It's giving um, like Greek goddess. Ooh, babe. I feel her, you a little wobbly. Just a bit. Just a little bit, she, yeah. She's overstepping. Yeah, she is. Because she's just trying to kill it so hard. Right. Like she's she's right. swaying and moving a little bit too much. I love the confidence. I love that, the attitude. She seems real comfortable. She's definitely overstepping though. And she's throwing those hips and just she, too much. Everything's just too much because she's trying to serve and I get it. No, she's too focused on her walk and she forgot everything else. She's not extending those knees. She forgot everything else. She's looking at you and everything, but you know, forgot the smiles, you know. I'm not too mad at that face because she just holds a relaxed face. It's natural to hold a relaxed face, but if you hold a smile, no. which is a lot of muscle okay, movement. Okay, but in, in, in her turns or towards the end, you should still smile, give a little something. Yeah, a little something extra, I get what you're saying. Who this, what's up with those knees? I didn't know what was going on right there. Her leg, she's not extending her leg, extend. She's throwing her arms. And she is throwing her arms. You were looking at arms, I'm looking at knees. I saw that too, <laughs> I just couldn't figure out what was going she's on right there. She's doing it too. Y'all with the walks. Okay, no. Come on now. She's got mm, these really tiny yeah. quick steps. I, yeah, I think she's uncomfortable in her shoes. My number three spot goes to Passai. Hi, with the face. Girl, your outfit, she's, oh, damn. Yeah, you know what? I don't even like girls, but I would date you. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. I, I'm looking at her legs. Look, she emphasized the hell out of those legs with those stockings. I'm looking at everything. Looking sexy and stuff. Mm -hmm. She you can walk. everything. You can walk, boo-boo. You can faces. walk. Look, you walk. Walk, girl, walk. Walk with it. Walk, my <laughs> Yeah, pass. I can walk. Her outfit is bomb. Oh, I was I was praying that she could walk. Thank God oh, she I can. Oh, I love this outfit, With too. the slight slit. Go back to pass. I, I wasn't done. We Damn weren't. It. We weren't done. I was not. That's it? That's all we get of pass. I? I hmm. Okay. Passai outfit to die for. The legs were striking. The face was fierce. I called it IG baddie. She was giving IG baddie vibes and she showed up and she showed out. Passai was marching and all over town showing off. Just showing off, it just show off. And once again, this is another woman who seemed completely natural. It wasn't forced, it wasn't fake. She's acting like this. I do this all day, every day. I go shopping like this. I'm fierce 100% of the time and it's not hard for me to do. One thing Passai didn't do for me was flirt with me. I like to be flirted with. The audience, the judging panel, they like it when you flirt with them. That's that level of engagement. That's what draws us in. That's what entices us. Like moths to a flame, you wanna use your face to captivate and pull in an audience. Now, past Psy definitely has a captivating aura. She's very sexy. She, she's got a natural sex appeal about her, but that's not gonna be enough to carry you through competition to be an absolute winner. You can charm the hell out of me, okay? I love a sexy girl, but you still have to have the personality that goes with it. You still have to be able to be friendly and smile. And I get that this was a runway challenge. So we're gonna get a lot more top model of a feel from the competitors than we would on an official competition pageant stage. So I'm still hesitant about Passai's ability to come off as an enticing, engaging, friendly competitor that's really going to endear, her, endear herself to an audience and the judges. But for right now, she's definitely, like no question, a surefire bet for a Miss Universe Philippines top contender potential queen. All right, Bahal, you're an experienced veteran. You better. Well, I, she came out showing grace. No mercy at all. I love she better. That. She's, she got top five last year. You better bring something. Now that's how you let it flow. I want to see a full walk on Behold. She's not going to trick me with fancy camera angles. She's got confidence. She's got attitude. She's not overdoing her shoulders and even sway with the arms. I'm looking to see what's wrong because everything looks good. I love that. Yeah, that she's using that fabric. I mean, if you got it, you use it. This is probably the best I've seen Behold thus far in competition. Ooh, I like this outfit. Okay, babe, wait. You might be able to walk here. Mm -hmm. Hold up now. She can walk. You can walk. Oh, okay. It's a little, she got she got a little oomph when she puts her foot down. I kind of like I it. See it. She like strikes with her hip. She's like slapping the ground every time she walks. Like get out my way. I like it. It's a little saucy. Are you like? Ooh, I like that walk. Look at that walk. Look at the knees. The knees are straight. I like it. I like you, girl. 
Who trained you? Oh, that walk is nice. Let me see it again. It's almost like a cute little prance. Little show pony. I like you. And this is funny because this is not one of the girls that people have been talking about. She's not one of the, look, she's like, I can walk everywhere, anywhere. Watch me walk, watch me strut. This is a strut. This is not a walk, this is a strut. My top two picks are some flirty girls. They endeared me, enticed me, drew me in. They gave me everything. I was watching them the whole time and when it was time for them to go away, I was sad. They flirted with me the entire way through. My number two pick, is Mandawe. Mandawe, ooh babe, who you think you are? You better stop, you better stop. Ooh, you better stop. I like her, I like you. Ooh, Sassy. I like you. The outfit is to die for, I would also wear that. Um, okay, Mandawe. She's Good sassy. Look. I like She's that. She's working yeah. everything she I'll got. Mm. She's, yeah, okay. No, no, I look you. Yeah, babe. Yeah, we gotta get it. No. Mm -hmm. Yay, I she, love this, it. She's she giving me Filipina's energy. Right? Like, yeah. Just look, at her, face, her, look uh, at her face. Look at her face. You took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> you took the words right out of my mouth. Ooh, she you... did everything. She said, y'all gonna remember my name. Mm -hmm. Who's at the top of your list now? Oh! <laughs> Beautiful. Mandawa, you up there, girl. Oh, I got chills. Ooh, goosebumps. Ooh. I did too. She's awesome. Finally, girl, I've been seeing things in you this whole time, and I'm like, she hasn't reached her full potential. There's got to be something else there. Like, I keep mentioning you. I keep seeing you right off the top of the list. Like, I keep seeing you mixed in the bunch. You're at number six, number four, number seven. You're there, but you're not quite up there yet. You finally, you're getting there. You finally are up at the top of my list, and I feel like that that's where you belong. Mandawe flirted with me the whole time. The whole time she flirted with me. I couldn't, I couldn't stand it. I couldn't tolerate it. She, the whole time she's giving me face, serving me looks, giving me turns, giving me walk. What is there she didn't give me? Outfits, hair, styling, what wasn't there? She had all of it. She was giving me a Miss Universe Philippines commercial. <laughs> That's what she was doing. The way that the current Miss Universe Philippines opened up the show, that's the type of energy that Mandawe was giving me. She was giving me, I'm already the queen, but look at the future competitors. Mandawe did phenomenal. And I'm like, are you guys overlooking all that she did? She gave me all of this, all of this and the body and the fit. There's nothing not to love here, nothing. There's honestly, like honestly, I'm not captivated. The holes got you guys running for your lives right now. She's cute. Some of you girls, man, you have not been doing yourselves justice in your photos and stuff. Cause she is cute, cute. Oh, her hair just in the breeze. You guys are trying to copy uh, Cebu Province. Was it Cebu Province from last year? Steffi. You guys are trying to copy Steffi from last year when she was on that bridge and had her hair whipping in the wind. Think I don't know. I watched Miss Universe Philippines for years at this point. Ooh, I like, ooh, I like Cebu Province. Ooh, that was a nice opening, babe. Yes, what was she wearing? I'm like, right. that was amazing. That's how you intro a queen. Hmm. Hey, now we get into some queens here. Queen, nice and look at her face, face. look at her face. Oh, with the, she got a great smile. She's got a great sleigh. That walk looks heavy right there. The side angle view looks real heavy. The front, the front view looks fantastic. Fantastic, the side looks yeah. heavy. This is perfect right here. This is beautiful. That right there. Why would you have her walking uphill? That's so unnecessarily difficult. What, having her walking uphill is making her knees bend. So I, you know, that's unfair to the contestant. This girl walks too well for y'all to have. To, why you got her walking up a hill? Cause then it automatically makes her knees bend. That was mean. Who made her do this? The girl can walk. I'm not saying they tried to mess you up with that uphill walk. You can walk girl. You're going to do great on stage. Uh oh, all right. Why are you walking in the grass with heels? That is so hard. All right, there we go. We got good timing on the arms. We need to lighten up on the steps just a little bit, just a little bit. Nice, comfortable faces. Yeah, she's gonna do great on stage. Like this, you get it, girl, get it. She looks like she could do this all day. And quite honestly, I could make this a screensaver. And I would, like those screensavers that move, I could have a screensaver of her just walking and I'd be happy. Her walk looks phenomenal. Yeah. 
there's certain walks where you could just like walk, watch them walk and you just captivated by the walk. Yeah, she looks natural. She uh, she lightened up on the makeup. I had a criticism of her as she was wearing too much makeup. You look oh, great, wow. baby. Look at her face. Mm -hmm. Look at her face. Baby, you look good, girl. You look with the smile. Oh she my has, God. Yeah, she gave face. She gave baby, I told face, you you were beautiful. Walk, yep. She gave a lot yep. of things. I told Dabo Del Sur, I said, she is too beautiful for that much makeup. Look at her face. I was right. I was right. The girl is stunning. I knew it. I knew she was stunning. Ooh, I think she's my, one of my favorites now. The number one spot is the number one spot is because she just, she gave extra spice. She gave extra sauce. She gave extra sparkle. She gave extra cinematography. She gave extra attitude. She just, look y'all, the number one spot and you know who it is. You know who it is. Cause we all chose the same number one spot and we're all in agreement that Tagig is number one. There's no question that Tagig is number one. Tagig, you're number one. You are number one. And my mom was surprised when I told her who you were because I had a jogger memory. She didn't, her memory not that great. I told her, Tagig's the girl you chose in swimwear. She said, that's her? I said, yep. She's like, well, why am I here? Because Tagig's number one, undeniable. The outfit though, the outfit though, Tagig, yo, we got another one. We got another one. I saw that pose at the end. I saw the pose at the end. We got another one. This is a good one. I like you. Yes, girl, work. Work, slay to geek, work, walk, look at it, the body, the face. Look, look, do you see that? Do you see that? Oh my God, I'm... You're so good. We got it, did that? Yes, yes. She's like, she's been yes. doing this for a long for a time. Long, she professional. Yes, oh, she does so look good. like a pro. Oh God. She looks like a pro. Girl, you better stop. She looks like you. all you have to do is she's pick out the outfit going. and she will... She, she changed outfits and came back for a second time. Oh, the face. I love you, Tagig. That was a Miss Universe performance, Tagig. That was, that was, oh, that performance was so undeniable. That performance was so above the rest, okay? Above the rest. The top three are leagues and miles above the rest of y'all. I'm sorry, they are. They are gone, okay? The top three are gone, but Tagig is standing on the rest of your necks. I just, that was a Miss Universe performance, Tagig. You should be so proud. I'm, I was captivated. I was floored. She served the outfits, the style, and the cinematography. First of all, props to the cinematographer. Whoever is putting, filming all these videos, cinematography has been fantastic, but Tagig was in another league. That production, the face, the walk, the outfits was of Miss Universe quality. I don't even know what else to say. There's nothing not there. It was perfect. That was a perfect runway performance. I can say nothing else. I should, there's nothing, there's no criticism that I can give. I'm sorry. And I, I hate when there's nothing that I can give because then that means there's nothing that I can give to a girl that would benefit her in any way. It means I'm useless, okay? I feel very useless being unable to give to geek any notes in this particular performance. I am, I feel like a letdown but I have to tell you, Tagig, I'm sorry. At this point, I have no notes to give you. This was a flawless runway performance. I have nothing to say. I don't see how this could be any better. I don't see how there could be any improvement. No matter how nitpicky I wanna get with Tagig and this performance, I, I can't pick on her hair, her makeup, her styling, her outfits, her nails. There's, there's not an eyelash I could pick on right now. Nothing, I'm useless. I have nothing for you. I am so sorry. I just, I, I love giving girls notes. I feel like there's always a boundary to be pushed. I feel like a girl can always do better. I feel like the ceiling can always be pulled above. I mean, unless you guys found, find a way for Tagig to walk on a cloud, there's nothing that she can do that would make this performance better than what it is, which is perfect. You win, Tagig, you win. And anybody who doesn't have you top one has just verified the fact they can't be trusted when it comes to pageantry because anybody with two eyes can see that Tagig was the best in this competition, hands down. I don't care who your fave is. I don't care who your daughter is. I don't care if a competitor is in your family. You, we all gotta acknowledge the truth. Tagig just slayed competition in this round. Congratulations. I'ma stop ranting I just she, mind blown. In the comment section below, let me know who's on your top 10 favorites of the Miss Universe Philippines Runway Challenge. Let me know who's your number five, four, three, and two, because we all have the same number one, but the rest of the spots I guess could be argued about, but if Mandawe's not in your top five, 
you just have poor judgment. I just like, what? I couldn't trust you to make a sandwich. But put your comments in the comments section below. Let us know what you all think, what you're looking forward to. Competition is coming and we're so excited. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up and remember, I love you and I will miss you, but you know I will be back in a future video. Bye.